Hello and welcome to another Ensovian gaming video, and today we're going to be doing the 6 plus Anel Skull Island. It's a pretty tough island, but definitely worth it to get the 6 plus Anel, who is much better than the regular version. Since all you need to really know is that his special used to do a max of 2 million damage, and now it does 5 million, and I think it does it a lot faster as well. Plus the attack boost went up from 3.25 times on his captain ability to 3.75 times, which is pretty insane. But most of the time, if you're going to use him, you can use him as a sub to do that juicy juicy um, damage that's typeless and AoE. Uh, you need 5 skulls to evolve him, and uh, if you can't do the 50 stand version, you can just farm the 30 and 40 stand version, they're a lot easier. But if you're up for the challenge, let me show you the team I'm going to be using to face off against 50 stand. So the team I'm going to be using is a Legend Blackbeard team. Hopefully a lot of you should have him by now since he's a pretty old le legend, like he's been out for like a year or something. Everyone else is free to play luckily, there's TM Jack who's there to deal with uh, a defense buff on stage 6, which is probably the hardest stage in the whole thing. Uh, he also deals a lot of damage through the barrier, which is going to be very nice since you actually have to do, you have to kill the guy in one turn. Everyone else is pretty replaceable, I mean even uh, Jack is replaceable if you have another like defense reducer. Kizaru is there just because he's dex and a shooter to fulfill the blackbeard requirements but he also gives you that chain boost which is nice. Uh, the Flamingo again is dex and is an orb booster and is a slasher. The main one is nice to have is obviously Robin because she removes despair and she isn't quick dex or strength which will get silenced for 20 turns on the final stage. She also resists silence and paralysis as her sailor abilities once limit broken which is really really useful for a lot of stages actually on this fight. A good replacement for her if you don't have a limit broken as well, which is nice, is Colosseum Kuro, who you don't even need to have special max. Since I think at level 1 it's 18 turns, which is the same as a maxed out Legend Blackbeard, so you have a lot of turns to store anyway. So if your characters aren't completely maxed out with special, you should be able to deal with uh, this stage anyway. Like the first 5 stages are pretty easy, you just have to tank a lot of hits. There's mostly with stage 6 and 7, which will give you trouble. I'm going to use a gear 4 v2 friend since he not only boosts everyone, gives you a time to attack boost on the special as well, so it makes up for a lot of damage that Blackbeard will be lacking since obviously he only boosts by 2.75 times. I'm using Blackbeard ship for like the first time ever but it's not really necessary, you can just switch it out with like the Merry Go or the Thousand Sun if you want. So with all that said, let's get started. So on stage 1, you're just going to want to stall out for specials if you really need to. Uh, I don't think I actually needed to because uh, you're going to have to take a lot of turns on the Anels anyway. but. You know, better safe than sorry. You don't actually have to tank any hits from the turtles because they're going to die from the AoE effect from the lightning anyway, so there's no real point taking hits for no reason. <laughs> so just uh, just kill them as soon as they go on CD. I think they always are on like 3 CD, which is perfectly timed to the lightning, so you don't have to worry about that. The first uh, Anel unit fight is Story Mode Anel, who has about a million HP, attacks every turn for about 4000 damage and paralyzes your crew for 2 turns every 2 turns. So you're pretty much paralyzed every turn while you're fighting him, which is super annoying. What's nice is that Jack and Robin are pretty much immune to paralysis, so they're going to be heal main damage dealers for the most part, since everyone else is going to have like a what 50% chance to actually hit. Um, yeah, I don't have any int units with me, which kind of sucks, but yeah, a million damage is kind of hard when you're doing it with 2 units, but when you have like nearly 50,000 HP it's not too bad. It's really RNG based how long it takes you to beat this stage because uh, you know you have to consider um, orbs that you get as well as obviously the paralysis. You can obviously use um, Luffy to switch to like a stronger captain ability but I don't think it's really that important. It kind of sucks that the lightning doesn't hurt him even though that's not even that much damage but well. Also obviously just heal up with meat orbs whenever you get a chance plus that would obviously help up uh, boost up Luffy's uh, tank of like captain ability. I don't know what you call it. I never use tank men anyway. Uh, I got like one meat orb there and actually didn't get paralyzed, which is kind of nice. And then finally, he's dead. This is actually kind of bad. You should I could I should have killed him the next turn so that on this stage that I, I'm not paralyzed. But uh, this one is raid now. No, Colosseum Nail, who has another one million HP and attacks every three turns for fifteen thousand damage and just shuffles your orbs every turn. So this guy's pretty easy, you just have to do a million damage over 3 turns which like is not much at all. Especially considering you have, uh, on this team I have 2 quick units, and one of them is Luffy obviously so that's like a lot of damage right there. As you see like I didn't do any damage on the first turn because of the paralysis and then I got like a badly matching orb. Oh he also does lower your attack by th for 3 turns but yeah that, that's not like gonna do that much because you still do a decent amount of damage anyway. I think he halves your attack but... Yeah, even with half, like, doing a million damage over three turns is not hard at all. Worst comes to worst, 
like yeah, it does to hear you tank the freaking 15,000 damage hit, which is fine because this team is super tanky thanks to uh, Blackbeard's 1.5 HP boost and then I think Luffy gives like a 1.3 and then obviously Blackbeard's ship also gives you a nice little HP boost as well. Here I'm gonna like stall out two turns, even though I don't think I need to, but especially because I take damage from that, but um, you know, just healing up from eight the meat orbs as well as the auto heal. You can just be a little safe if you're scared of dying on the next stage. I think I, you have to tank two hits on the next stage. Yeah, take two hits, which it, it comes out to like 16,000 I think, but that, I think that's the last time you have to take any damage. Now on to stage five, which is probably the easiest one. For this team anyway, he has about 1.5 million HP, he attacks every turn for 6,000 damage, and then he puts up a shield that halves quick dex and strength unit damage for 3 turns, but thanks to Blackbeard that literally, that literally just does nothing, so he's just doing normal damage here. You see I'm just, just like shredding him. Uh, and then every 2 turns, well he does it on the first turn, and then every 2 turns he will silence your crew for 2 turns. So you need to use your specials for the next stage, so you've got to tank one more hit. Not the end of the world though. Like I still, I still have quite a lot of HP, freaking fifteen thousand. So yeah, it doesn't do anything below like twenty percent or anything. So you can just uh, hit him as much as you want. Heal up thanks to uh, Luffy's sailor ability. Oh let no limit breaks. Okay. And then on this stage, just kill him. Obviously, you can try and farm some orbs if you really want to, because you could you have to one shot the next stage. But it shouldn't be too hard anyway. Now the science has run out. You run into. Uh, raid and now again, but this time it's the Kai version. He blinds you for one turn, makes perfects harder to hit, uh, and gains a two hit perfect barrier, and the one kind of defensive buff that uh, Blackbeard doesn't deal with, which is the blue shield, which is why you use Jack to get rid of it, but it also does like a crap ton of damage to him. This guy only has like 600,000 HP, but he did have that huge blue shield, which is why you need to bring Jack. And then we're just gonna smash him up pretty easily. I still had like two hits left to use. Onto the final stage, and this guy has 8 million HP, which is a lot more than the rest of them. And attacks every turn for 13 million, puts up a 3 turn damage threshold, which does nothing again, thanks to Blackbeard. Then Kizaru, activated for the chain boost, gear 4 for the attack boost, and a times 4 attack boost now from... Actually, that already activated from the switch. Then the Flamingo for the orb boost, obviously. I got pretty lucky here, I guess, with ores, but like, you should get a decent amount, thanks to uh, Luffy's Captain Billy anyway. And obviously Kizaru like, gives himself a matching orb. And then Blam, don't even use Blackbeard for attacks. Plus Blackbeard cut his HP down by 30% as well, so it should be pretty easy to kill him. He revives with about 400,000 HP, despairs and silences pretty much everyone that isn't in Osai, and also despairs in Insai, and paralyzes the left side. He does a lot of stuff, but thankfully uh, Robin will just get rid of the despair. And since you don't have to deal with the... Uh, what's it called? Barrier at all, thanks to Blackbeard again, you just have to do 400,000 damage, which is pretty easy. I messed up there, I should put Robin on the left side instead of Doflamingo, because she actually resists paralysis, but it doesn't really matter too much. And there you go, pretty safe and pretty easy with this team, it just takes a little while, because like, it doesn't do too much damage, and like there's no way to deal with paralysis on a couple stages, but not too bad. It's a free to play team if you have Blackbeard, or Gear 4 I guess, you can use either Captain, and uh, hopefully you can farm an L. Well that's it for this video, join the Discord if you like, donate to the PayPal if you're feeling generous, Post any teams you have in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, my Nakama!